What's going on guys, this is Alec here and welcome to episode number 20 of my Swansea City career mode. We've actually made it this far to 20 episodes. I want to thank everyone for the massive support and in particular Plongstar Jr, Peter Mills, Yayan Davis, Reese Nicholson, Jackie, James T. Exicone and Sparky Gamer. That's you, Matty and Petter. Uh, like I said, massive thank you to all of you. You were the reason I'm still doing this series. I probably would have stopped a long time ago uh, had I not had this much support. But... Onto the episode, as you can see, we're bringing up the squad report here. I'm just showing you the stats of all the players, uh, how much appearances and goals and assists, clean sheets they've had, yellow cards, whatnot. If you want to see a particular player's uh, individual stats, then by all means pause the video. Uh, the standout ones, obviously, Gilfie Sigurdsson, Barrow is quite decent, and Baston, as you see there, Sigurdsson, 15 goals and 13 assists, and uh, Moda Barrow isn't doing too bad. Same as Memphis as well, but... Uh, it was pretty apparent in the last episode that no one wanted me to take the England job, so that's fine by me. I'll wait out, I'll take the Wales job if that ever does pop up. Another thing I want to say, uh, not a lot of people watch my request a hybrid series on Ultimate Team. Now, I don't know whether much of you guys are big Ultimate Team fans, but it's a really good series I got going on on my uh, on this channel. I'll leave a link in the description below to episode 1, that goes over all the rules, and episode 2 is also up on my channel. It's basically, you guys can request me any players you want to see me use on Ultimate Team, and I'll try and make a hybrid around them. Like I said, the rules are explained in the first episode, so if you want to go and watch that, you can do. Uh, another thing I want to ask is... Um, should I do another career mode series alongside the Swansea City one, you know, with a bigger team, with a smaller team? I've got the Portsmouth one going. I think I'm going to discontinue that and not uh, not do that one any longer. But, uh, yeah, like I said, let me know down below. And as you see here, we're, uh, we're actually going to reject the England job. It feels good to do that. Just hit the reject button and confirm so that we don't have to do that. But... On to the first episode, uh, first episode, first game of the episode, we've got Derby County up in the Emirates Cup, or the Emirates FA Cup, I should say. Uh, we're in the round of 16, which I didn't even realise going into the last episode, so this is another chance to progress further in another comp cup competition. Uh, as you can see here, Derby team, they've got some good players, Johnny Russell, Thomas Ince, Will Hughes. One of my subscribers, Jay, actually inboxed me on Twitter. He followed me on Twitter. I follow everyone back on Twitter, so if you want to follow me on there, just another little plug. Uh, I'll follow you back on there. But he messaged me, and he told me about a lot of these Derby County players. So I, I, I kind of knew what to expect from them. And I was obviously nervous. The likes of Will Hughes, good young talent, Tom Ince as well. Swans were actually interested in him at one point. But here's our team. As you can see, we're starting off uh, with a pretty strong team, actually, in the round of 16. Uh, not too much youngsters in there, which I do usually like to play. But... Uh, like I said, this is another chance for us to go far in another cup competition. This is going to be a cup-only episode, uh, just as we're in the final of the EFL Cup, which is the game going to be played after this one. Early on into the game, we've got a really good chance here, as the ball is played over to Nathan Dyer. He'll go 1-0 over the keeper, 2 minutes into the game, and we score. We go 1-0 up within 2 minutes. Straight from kickoff, Derby took the ball up, we took it off them, played a massive long ball through to Nathan Dyer, who is in acres of space for some reason, and he slots that away. I did actually mean to take it with his right foot, but he slotted, away with, slotted it away with his left foot, so I've got no complaints about that. Uh, a couple of minutes later, only two minutes later, Wayne Routledge dispossesses their midfield, and Jefferson Montero is actually in a load of space down his left-hand side. He'll take it in, good ball over, tried to get it to Joshua King, and it's a good defensive header by the Derby defence. I'm sorry, I, I don't really know the names by face, um, by how they look in the game, so I may get a few of them wrong. But another chance here from the corner, Jefferson Montero with a great burst of pace. He'll get it in, and the shortest man on the pitch scores ahead. Uh, Nathan Dyer doubles his lead. He's on for a hat-trick just seven minutes into the game. Like I said, it was a great burst of, burst of pace by Jefferson Montero to just get himself down to the byline. And try and get that uh, that ball in. And luckily enough, Nathan Dyer was there. He's got a chance off for his hat-trick now. Gets it onto his right foot. And he just strikes the crossbar. He went for power over placement. Which was probably my mistake. Uh, that was that was a good chance for Nathan Dyer to get his hat-trick. And he's on the ball here now. Trying to prove uh, that he can provide goals as well. It's Wayne Routledge into Keyson Young who strikes it. Just wide of the post, um, and that was actually a lot further away when I saw the replay, but uh, it was a decent chance nonetheless, and that's how we'll go into halftime, 2-0, um, I'll take that any day of the week up against Derby, that was probably their best chance of the game so far, uh, easy catch for Christopher Nordvelt, and Tom Ings went down the right wing here, he tackled and Christie just bombs forward past Stephen Kingsley. He's got a chance to put a good ball into the back post, which he does. Mawson doesn't stop the cross and Johnny Russell beats Angel Rangel in the air far too easily for my liking and he scores. 
2-1 from them, from us absolutely dominating them. Christie puts a good ball into the back post to Johnny Russell. Nordvelt debatably could have done better. I don't know why he went to ground, but it's all Derby now. A couple of minutes later after they scored their first goal, it's Tomins into Bryson. He'll put that ball into Christie and the right back will shoot it over. Luckily enough, that was the right back, Christy, otherwise I could have been in a bit of trouble. But here's Nathan Dyer. He'll play the ball through to Angel Rangel, who will come back inside to Nathan Dyer. He's got a good chance to turn provider here. He'll get into Josh King. Great save from the keeper. But the lucky, the lucky Josh King receives the rebound, and that's his first goal in the cup for us. Uh, he scored his first goal for us last episode up against Leicester, I think it was, at home. But... Uh, Nathan Dyer does well, just pulls it back to Joshua King and, uh, like I said, it's a bit lucky finish. Derby with a chance of their own to attack now. It comes out here to Kamara, into Thorne. We'll play it over to Olsen, who'll take a shot and not really testing Christopher Nordwell there. The keeper didn't even dive, but uh, from the resulting goal kick, get up to Kingsley, into Marvin Emnes. We'll play it into Leon Britton, who's just come on the pitch. Martin Odegaard back up to Emnes down that left wing. I uh, decided to bring him on left wing instead of striker. But still Emnes now into Stephen Kingsley. He'll play a good pass into Joshua King and he just tries to control it and shoot. But a massive shambles between the defender and uh, and the goalkeeper there. I think it was actually Will Hughes that scored the own goal. As you'll see here, um, well, didn't ma manage to see it the best. But it came off the keeper onto the midfielder and he went through for an own goal. Joshua King just holding the ball up now. He'll pass that through to Leon Britton. Leon Britton to Erdegaard. We'll play it over to Rangel, who's got a good chance to create something new. Into Keeson Young, back into Josh King, back into Emnes, and he just fails to uh, finish off a, a really nice goal. But that's how this game's going to end. 4-1 to us away. I'm not actually sure what Derby's proper stadium is called. It's called Molten Road on the game, but I'm pretty sure it's not that. But uh, yeah, that finishes off the game. 4-1 to us, like I said. It's a solid victory away from home. The next question I want to ask is, is, obviously now we've got the... FA Cup final coming up next but in in the rest of the games of this competition now you'll see the teams that are left in it what team do you think I should play because obviously I'd love to win the FA Cup as well so yeah any feedback on the team you uh, think I should play would be appreciated but on to the big one on to the EFL Cup final against Stoke City we're playing at Wembley again this is the competition that Swans actually won a couple of years ago uh, Michu scoring, I think we won 5-0 up against Bradford City, but this was no Bradford City, this was going to be a tough game. Here's the Stoke team, Wilfred Borny, Arnautovic, Gerard and Shakir. I mean that's such a good team, Ryan Shawcross, that's such a good team, and we really added in for ourselves. We are so scared to come up against Wilfred Borny because, as you'll see, the two centre-halves I'm playing, that's the cup we're playing for. It says Capital One Cup still on it, that's, that's funny, but Mark Hughes is the other manager, Welshman himself, so... Uh, got something in common there they've also got Joe Allen on the bench which I was so glad he's starting on the bench because like it would be unfair if they started him but here's the team we're playing it's uh, quite similar to the team we played up against Derby in the last game apart from the fact that Regan Poole is playing we've also put Sigurdsson and Memphis in there they requested to play before the game and I wasn't going to play them originally but thought they are two best scorers in the Premier League uh, or Memphis is, is at least joint there so I thought it would be nice to have some first team quality in this cup final but uh the highlights will be a little bit extended compared to the normal ones, but I just try to make it a little more tense for the final of this game. Imbula into Peters. Gets a bit lucky to Arnautovic. Back to Imbula. Into Wilfred Borny, who's got a nice turn, and it comes off the crossbar. Shakiri with a decent attempt. He'll get it to, back to Glenn Whelan here. Back to Imbula. Into Shakiri. Great block from Regan Poole, and Shakiri just bicycle kicks it over the bar. You'll see how good this block is there from Poole, from Borny's shot. And uh, it's a good bit of pressure from Van de Horn not to let Shakiri have a clear shot on goal. Uh, still Stoke now, 36 minutes into the game. It wasn't the most eventful first half, uh, just because we were both trying to, you know, not concede. But Shakiri uses a pitch brilliantly down that right wing. He'll pass it into Stephen Island, gets the 1 2 back. It's still Shakiri now. What an awful clearance by Van der Hoorn. And Wilfred Borny scores against his old team. He doesn't even hesitate to celebrate. Uh, like I said, what was that by Van der Hoorn? You'll be able to see here. Uh, I don't even know what he tries because that's not a header away. It falls straight to Wilfred Borny. And that's probably the worst player on the pitch it could have fallen to. But we go 1-0 down in the 39th minute. That was a killer because we were playing decent up until that point. Stoke were all over us, to be fair, but we just weren't conceding. Uh, as Stoke come on the attack again, Shakiri into Wilfred Bonnie. He's through on goal, 
It's a decent save from Nordvelt. It's a poor effort from Boney, more so though. And uh, Stoke will take the corner. It's short into Shakiri. Shakini will pass it into Stephen Island. It's a good chance here from Stoke and Boney. We'll tussle with Regan Poole. He won't go anywhere. And that's going to be for half time. We'll let off there. Like I said, Stoke were all over us in the first half. And I'll hold my hands up to it. So to go 1 0 in, I wasn't too uh, disheartened by that. As my dog is scratching on my door. Uh, Going into the second half, I, I didn't feel too confident, I'm not going to lie. Stoke are playing some really good football, but early on in the second half, Wayne Routledge just possesses the other team. The ball to Dyer into Shaw, and it's a feeble attempt. I did actually try passing that back across to Memphis, who I put up front. I took Joshua King off, put Shaw on the left wing, and put Memphis up top. But from the resulting goal kick from Jack Butland, it comes to Shaw here into Wayne Routledge. He'll come inside to Memphis, and Memphis is looking for an option now. He'll go over to Nathan Dyer. No, he won't. He's still running through. Still Memphis. Still Memphis, and he scores. And I know how cheese the keeper was there. I don't even know what Jack Butland did. You'll see on the replay that it's absolutely awful goalkeeping. But as Van der Hoorn in the first half made a very, very big mistake, Jack Butler makes a big mistake here. And Memphis just puts it past him into an open net, pretty much. And we won one. I'll take it. It's a sloppy goal, but I'll take it. The defence were awful. Memphis just run all the way through. But uh, he got his goal, so I'm not complaining. 56 minutes on the clock now. Shaw gets the ball down this left wing. Sees a lot of it uh, after he's come on. It's... Gilfie Sigerson now into Memphis, back into Keeson Young, just trying to conjure up a chance here, Keeson Young into Gilfie Sigurdsson, and it's a decent attempt, but it's a pretty standard save from Jack Butland there, uh, as he rolls it out into Mbula, you get this one to Marco Anoutovic, Anoutovic will not come inside, he'll go to Eric Peters down this left hand side, Peters into Glenn Whelan, Whelan into Anoutovic, it's a good tackle from Angel Rangel, Nathan Dyer now, we can counter attack here, He's dispossessed, but it's fallen nicely for us. And Memphis will get the ball over to Shaw, who's in a lot of space. He'll take one touch and shoot, and it's just wide of the post. I should have put the replay in there, because that was actually a really, really close shot. But uh, 85 minutes on the clock now. We're just trying to conjure something up. Stoke were really, really pressing us, as you can see here. But uh, Shaw will get the ball through to Kingsley, and Kingsley's actually through now. He's got, not got a lot of stamina left. He'll play a ball into the back post in for Memphis. What can he do with it now? He'll put it inside to Marvin Emnes, who scores in the 88th minute. Marvin Emnes, who came on off the bench. I actually put Emnes up front. I took Routledge off and put Memphis... Uh, sorry, I put Emnes up top. And Memphis just in behind, I took Routledge off and it proved well. Kingsley passed the ball over, it got to Memphis. Memphis didn't have a lot on, but he put it into the box at Emnes, who head as they passed Jack Butland. 88 minutes on the clock now, can we hold off? Now Stoke were pressing and pressing first half. Second half, I think we probably had the better. But we get an attack late on here and it's cleared by Ryan Shaw across. And that's the final whistle. We finally won a trophy. I don't know why I'm saying finally. We've won a trophy in our first season. Marvin Emnes and Memphis Depay. Memphis getting a goal and an assist after the Aster play. So he completely justifies it. We've done it. We've won the Capital One Cup again. The EFL Cup. The Carling Cup. Whatever you want to call it. We've won. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. As you can see here, the celebrations are all kicking in. All the players are there. Show I brought on. But yeah, as all the players are celebrating you now, I just want to ask you guys, uh, as this episode is coming to a finish, if you want to see me do anything, you know, make any player changes to positions, any opinions on anything you have regarding this series or my channel, please let me know in the comments below, because I read every single comment, I reply to most comments. If you follow me on Twitter, I more than likely will follow you back as well, so we can talk in their DM and stuff. Um... But yeah, and like I said earlier, please go check my request a hybrid series out. This it's actually a really good series, and I guess you guys involved a lot more as well, because I know a lot more people like to watch this. But uh, yeah, as you can see, Angel Rangel, who we made captain for the day, lifts the trophy. Um, he's only got a few seasons left, so I'm happy that he managed to captain us on this victory now. But we go on. We're still in the round of 16. Well, we're actually in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup as well now, and we're top of the league, so we're flying at the moment. Thank you guys for watching episode 20, and I'm out. Peace.